Mm. Praise God. Well, good morning. It's Friday morning. We want to invite you to service uh, this week. Um, I believe, Marcia, uh, that this Sunday is uh, Father's Day, yes. and so we want to invite uh, all the men to come. Um, we have a special message yeah. we're going to be sharing. And, yeah, uh, a special gift for everybody. Special too, gift, yeah, for, for the, the guys, men. you know, yeah, for all, all the guys, you know. Yeah. And so we invite you to come. That's uh, this Sunday at ten o'clock. Come and be a part of that. Today we want to. I want to again. We're talking about praying the names of Jesus in our, in our prayer life. How it's part of it, okay? And today we want to talk about two things. One, shepherd. Jesus is our shepherd, and then He is our righteousness. And I want to talk about righteousness first, because in Second Corinthians chapter five, verse 20, 15 through twenty-one, you just mark it down. But this is where that we become, we become through the Redeemer, amen, we become the righteousness of God in Christ. The, the Hebrew word there is Yahweh uh, sit canoe. Now, sit like in that. your canoe. Sit in your canoe, right. And the Lord is our righteous. That's the way it's uh, in this Jeremiah 33, uh, verse 16. And God, it is God alone who provides us righteousness. It is not ourselves. Our righteousness, as we said uh, yesterday, Isaiah 46, our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, mm -hmm. okay? The reason why is the impurity of motives that get in there. Right. You, can't, you can't work righteousness in from the outside. Sanctification and righteousness have to work their way out. To the good deeds Amen. that you do. That's Amen. Right. It Amen. shows in your actions. It right? does. Absolutely. In your words. And then I want to, and then, uh, so he is our righteousness. We come, we can come boldly in the throne room of God. You know, if we did not have right standing with God, we could not come before God. Okay. Yeah. We would have to have that veil back with a high priest, mm -hmm. you know, going before us. But when that when that veil was ripped in the temple when Jesus died on Calvary, what it did, it opened access. The Redeemer now gives us right standing with okay. God to come before Amen. the Father God. The redeemed God. can now Amen. come before God. Amen. We are, and we are the redeemed. Amen. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return. Amen. That's right. <laughs> and, and, and so he is that. But he's our shepherd. And, and I love, you know, how many times in the Old Testament and New Testament do you see examples of sheep and shepherds, okay? You know, Moses was a shepherd. David was a shepherd, mm -hmm. you know? Many, as a matter of fact, if you go back and look at some of the um, the prophets, many of them were a shepherds as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because they were off by themselves and God could talk to they them, you know? Get, them so get out there and talk them. to them, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's pretty interesting when you see uh, what that goes on. And John, of course, John the Baptist, in looking out there, here comes Jesus. And John be, uh, John the Baptist says, Behold the Lamb of God. Amen. You know? and, uh, he is called the Lamb of God. I know you. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say you're going to say, yeah. But John chapter 10 is really one of my favorite. It's one of our cornerstones. It is. Uh, you know, us. John 10 10, the thief comes to steal and uh, uh, kill, steal, and destroy, but I'm coming to you, man, the life in life more abundantly. But he starts off that chapter as a shepherd. He does. And you know, you know, I learned this, Marcia, that shepherds can take their uh, their sheep and they can put all of their sheep in one pen. They don't they don't brand the sheep. Mm -hmm. Okay. But here's what happens is those sheep know the shepherd's voice. And here's what the the shepherd trains each sheep or the sheep of his with a sound, mm -hmm. okay? And maybe it's a clap, maybe it's a clicking of his finger, maybe it's a, tch -tch, you know, something. But whenever the, the the sheep hear that voice, they then respond to that That's shepherd. They could be in a herd of a lot of sheep. A lot of different, from a lot of different shepherds. And they, they hear that, yep. they separate themselves and yep. come to the You shepherd. can't do that with cattle. No. <laughs> only, with, only with sheep. Only, and that's why he says, he says, uh, my sheep know my voice. Know. They respond to my call. And when he calls, we come, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. I just, I think that is so, so awesome that God uh, in his in infinite wisdom used that we are, we are sheep. We are like sheep, you know, but, yeah. and he is our shepherd. That's why in our services, when we go around, there's trash on the floor. We call it sheep droppings. Sheep droppings, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, one of the <laughs> things about a shepherd too, Marcia, is that the shepherd, he, when, uh, when he pins them at night, 
He is right there in the gate. Yeah. He protects them. And, you know, uh, Psalms 23, I know you know Psalms 23. Yes. You know, the Lord is my shepherd. I have no needs, you know. Right. And when we understand that, when we really grasp that, he is our shepherd who gives us right standing with God to come into God's presence. Amen. 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 Praise and God. And he protects us. And he protects us all the way. God bless you. We love you. Hey, guys. See you in church Sunday, all right? Father's Day. God yeah, bless. Treat your fathers good. Yeah, amen.